Welcome to the SAP Business One Sales System Demonstration. Sales and logistics is a critical part of any company's success, from the creation of a sales quotation all the way to billing and payment. This process must be well controlled, organized, and predicted both from the company side and the customers. Using SAP Business One, you can streamline your sales process while assuring the integrity and reliability of your company. Creating a flow of documents from sales quotation to order to delivery and invoicing through predefined processes, but with the flexibility of the tools offered within the application, you make sure no sales goes unnoticed and perfectly executed. You are the sales manager at OEC Computers, following a campaign of new servers. Your customer requests a sales quotation involving a server. He also would like to include an alternative, less expensive option in the same quotation. You start by creating a sales quotation document. Once you select the customer, you can use the yellow drill down arrow to learn more about this customer. You can see its balances, general information, all its contact persons, its bill to and ship to addresses. You can learn about the payment terms and its credit limit. On the analytics tab, you can get a quick look at his top most selling items, his balances, and sales amounts for the year. Using this information, you can easily figure it's one of your top clients and would like to accommodate his needs as quickly as possible. Back to the sales quotation, and the next step is to select the server the customer is interested in. And we select the server point premium option first. And the second row would be an alternative item. With the standard server point, which is the less, the less expensive option. If you notice, when you use an alternative row type, the sales value of this row is not added to the total of the quotation, so your customer can see the actual value of the original item quoted. Since he is a valuable customer, you add a 5% discount at the bottom. Before you save the quotation, use the print preview icon to see the document in the draft mode. Here it is mentioned that the second row is indeed an alternative option. Using SAP Business One, you can easily print, generate a file or email, any type of document or report using a predefined template. You also have the option to modify those templates to fit your needs. Let's open the quotation we just created and send it by email. We click the email icon, we say yes, and the new window opens up to send an email. The contact person is the same contact person that was used in the quotation. You can add some text, remarks, On the data tab, you can see a link to the actual quotation. And in the attachment tab, you're going to see an attachment of a PDF file of the printed quotation we just saw. Finally, we send the email. Using Business One, you can choose to send emails using the internal mail or application or using your local Outlook. Your customer calls you indicating he liked the offer and is actually interested in ordering both servers. 
In SAP Business One, all sales and purchasing documents have the same structure and can be based on one another, making it easy to learn and use. Therefore, to place an order, we open the sales order and choose a customer. Now you can simply choose to copy from sales quotation. Find the latest quotation and click Finish. The system recognizes that alternative items exist in the quotation. Therefore, you receive a message asking whether to delete them or copy them over. In this case, you do copy them over, and from now on, the alternative items are standard sales items, which its prices is added to the document. Also notice how the discount uh, and any other information is copied over from the quotation, saving you time and avoiding redundant work. The customer indicated that he would like the second server to be sent to his warehouse in Pennsylvania. So you go ahead and you change the shipping location of the second row to the Pennsylvania warehouse. Enter today's date as the customer requested an immediate delivery. At this point, the system recognizes that the second server cannot be fulfilled on time and suggests a future delivery. If you open the Available to Promise check, you can see that the server is not in stock. However, a purchase order is placed and the item will arrive in the next few days. At this point, you confirm the suggested delivery date and save the order. The customer is not happy with the late delivery of the second server. Since he is one of your top clients, you decide to reschedule another order and give priority to this customer's order. Open the sales order and the delivery schedule management tool for the second item. Here you can see your order and any other orders placed for the same item. You can see there is another order for this server. This is for a new client though, and you decide to reschedule it. So the item is available on time for your priority customer. So you can see your order is delayed by six days. And this one is on time. To reschedule the order, we reduce the quantity to be delivered for that order and press the preview button to see the changes. Now we see that the first order is delivered on time and the second one will be delayed. Of course, you would have to notify the customer of his delayed delivery. You confirm and close the delivery management tool. The order arrives to the warehouse and the next step is to pick the items and ship them over. For this, SAP Business One provides a complete pick and pack process where you can view open orders by priority, delivery date, and location. You create a pick list and they identify that items were picked, pack them, and ship them using a delivery document or an invoice. Enter the order number we just created. and the pick and pack opens. As the warehouse manager, you would like to create pick list and release the item for picking. We choose both items and release to pick list. We click next and generate. The items are ready to be picked. So you go to the release drawer and open the pick list. We choose pick all 
to show that you picked both items. The premium server is managed by serial numbers, which means that with each purchase or sale, you must identify the serial number of the individual unit that was used. We click on the quantity and select the first serial number. We update and we save the changes. The final step on the pick and pack is to ship the items via delivery document. We choose to create an automatic delivery. This option means that the delivery will be created without user intervention. You got confirmation that both servers were received, so you are ready to build a customer and create an AR invoice. You go to Sales, AR Invoice. Select the customer. And choose to copy from deliveries. In this case, we have two deliveries that were created since each item had a different shipping address. If there are no other changes you wish to make, save the invoice. To view the entire process flow, open the invoice and the relationship map. Here you can see in a graphical way all the transactions involved in the sales process, starting from the sales quotation, to the sales order, to the two deliveries, and the invoice. The red line indicates that the invoice is still open. Once it's paid, the relationship map will reflect the payment document as well. In the next scenario, you receive an order from a customer using an Excel file. This customer has an arrangement with you to purchase a minimum number of items throughout the year for a discounted price. SAP Business One is tightly integrated with different office products, starting from the option to import and export data to Excel, to exporting documents to Word, and to integrate your Outlook contacts, emails, and calendar meetings to your SAP Business One contacts and activities. You're dealing with a longtime customer that sends his monthly orders using an Excel file. All you need to do is copy the rows and paste them into a sales order document in SAP Business One. Notice that a blanket agreement field recognizes that there is an agreement with this customer for these items. A blanket agreement is a document that describes your customer's commitment to purchase item for a minimum quantity and in return receives a special discounted price. The blanket agreement allows you to record the items, quantities, as well as prices as well as delivery schedules and its frequency for placing orders. Here you can see previous documents posted against this agreement. You notice that there were a couple of deliveries and invoices, but all of them were returned and reversed. You wish to investigate this customer more. Start by looking at the Sales Analysis Dashboard in your cockpit. In SAP Business One, the cockpit is the control center 
that contains all the information about the business at your fingertips. You can find different dashboards, company objectives, workflow, latest updates and more. As the end user, you can easily customize the cockpit to fit your needs. The sales dashboard analyzes your sales amount for this fiscal year compared to the last year. It also analyzes sales opportunity win rates with comparison to last year. Here you can analyze your top five customers and their most selling items. You see that this customer is actually your top customer. You can also run the same analysis by sales employees. You notice that Brad Thompson is the primary sales employee for the customer you're looking at. So you can conclude that he formed a good and trusting relationship with this customer, so you're not worried about a few returns anymore. You also would like to run a commission report for Brad, so you can see in more details his sales number for the year. So we run the salesperson commission report by invoice for Brad for the entire year. This report lists all the invoices posted with Brad as the salesperson, with including a calculation of his commission numbers by invoice. At this point, you can easily export the list to Excel to continue your calculations if needed. Using SAP Business One to manage your sales activities is easy and intuitive provides you enough flexibility, but at the same time gives you structure and organization. We have seen how to create sales documents and resolve conflicts with delivery schedule. We incorporated the pick and pack, following by shipping and billing documents. We've also reviewed the blanket agreement feature and the integration with Microsoft Excel. Thank you for your time.